Yes, Shimwe. Praise Jesus. Shime imana ku bw'iki gitondo yongeye kuduha. I'm thankful to God for this morning that he has given to us once again. Wera ko numugisha kugambirira ukanashobora kuza mu nzu y'Imana. Uh, because it is a blessing when you commit yourself to come and God to Shimira Imana kuba maze gusavinga mbere yacu. We are also thankful to God for those who have been serving worship previously. Worship team Imana ibaho mugisha. May God bless the worship team. Ndetse abatwigishije muri Bible study ndetse nabatuyoboye. And even the one who taught us during the Bible study and the moderator. Ndetse numugisha kugera no kubadufashije no gupaking. And the a blessing is also extended to even those who helped us to park our vehicles. Kubera ko bo hari gihe tutababona hano tukagira ngo ntibakoze. Because there are times we don't see them here and think that they are nabo babakoze Imani ibaho umugisha. They have also done their contribution. May God bless them. Ah uh, uyu munsi rero nshimiye Imana kuba yatekereje ko ari gye wagabura ibyayo. I'm thankful to God that he has allowed me to share uh, things concerning. Kandi ndumva hari ibyo yashyize ku mutima wanje nsenga ngo imfashe kubitanga nkuko yabimpaye and there is something that god has laid on my heart and i pray that i may be able to share it according uh, to the way i received it twatangiye seri inyigisho ivuga ku bwami bw'imana so we started a series of teaching talking about the kingdom of god ah uh, twatangiye twigishwa n'umushumba mukuru at the start we were taught by the senior pastor ubwami bw'imana so the kingdom of god ntabwo njya gusubira mu ibyo yavuze byose i'm not going to repeat everything that she said ariko ngiye kuvuga ubwami but if you want to talk about the kingdom of God, navuga ngo ni ha hantu imana ihawikaz. It is a place where God is given welcome. Ni ha hantu imana itegekera. It is where God rules. Ni ha hantu ndetse ubushake bwayo buba. And it is also where his will is done. Icyo yifuza ko gikorwa akaba ari cyo gikorwa. So that the will of God is fulfilled. Ikinyuranyo cy'ubwami bw'Imana So the opposite of the kingdom of God Nubwami bwa Satan It is the kingdom of darkness Nubwami bw'umwijima It is the kingdom of darkness Ibyo nabyo ni byiza ko tubimenye And it is important for us to know this Yigisha ku munsi wa mbere atubwira inyigisho tujye kuzajya twiga So when we were taught on the first day about the, the series of teachings that we go through Ari kibazo yabajije gisigara muri gewe There is a question that she asked and uh, I kept that in my mind Yavuze byinshi wo munsi She said a lot on that particular Ariko aravuga ngo kubera iki tutakibona uburokore buri radical nk'ubwabagaho muri za 1870 And then she said, how comes we do not see radical Christianity like the one we used to see in the 1980s and 70s Kubera ko nta pfaga kwita murokore Because no one could just call him a born again anyhow Washobaraga kuvuga ko uri umukirisito You would say that you are a Christian Ariko nta but you could not call yourself uh, born again anyhow. Muri iki cyumweru nigishaga. This week there are some pastors that I was teaching. Tuganira ku matorero yabo and we were talking about their churches. Arambira ngo mu matorero yabo. Now they told me in their churches ngo bafitemo abakirisito they have Christians. Hanyuma bakagiramo nabarokore. They also have those who are born again. Tumara gihe kinini bari kubinsobanurira. So we spent some time as we were explaining that. Noneho bageraho barambira ngo. Now the ritual point they told me. Abo twita abakirisito. Now those we call Christians. Nabo dufite mu bitabo nyine ko babatijwe, bakomejwe, bahawa masakramento. There are those we have in our records who were baptized and received other sacraments. But we have another group. Now, those specific ones, they know Christ. And they walk with Him. And there is a way they shun from sins. So now I start asking myself How can we have Christians and born again people in the why should we have Christians who are no longer according to the Bible? So last Sunday we were told that the kingdom of God should expand. So she told us if you have received the kingdom of God, you need also to allow it to expand. In so and that, this led me to ask me uh, myself a question. 
bw'Imana How can I receive the kingdom of God and say that I am a Christian and then the kingdom of God does not expand in and in the end it does not even expand where I go so this led me to ask myself many questions so God gave me the words that you are going to start reading so we are going to read in Genesis chapter 3 and then we also read in John chapter 3 uh, the amazing thing there are all seven verses so it's starting from verse 1 to verse 7 and uh, they are all chapter 3 so Genesis and John uh, chapter 3 verse 11, 1 to 7 respectively so the word of God tells us inzoka yarushaga uburiganya inyamaswa zo mwishyamba zose uwiteka yaremye ibaza uwo mugori ti nukuri ko kwimana yaravuze iti nti muzarye kugiti cyose cyo muri yingobyi now the serpent was more cunning than any beast in the field which God the Lord had made and he said to the woman has God indeed said you shall not eat of every tree of this garden uwo mugore arayisubiza ati imbuto zibiti byo muri yingobyi twemererwa kuzirya cheretse imbuto zigiti kiri hagati y'ingobyi nizimana yatubwiye iti nti muzazirye nti muzazikoreho mutazapfa and the woman said to the serpent we may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden but one of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden god said you shall not eat it nor shall you touch it lest you die iyo nzoka ibwira umugore iti gupfa nti muzapfa kuko imana izi uko ku munsi mwaziriyeho amaso yanya zaweza mugahindurwa n'imana mukamenya ikibi nikize then the serpent said to the woman you will not surely die for god knows that in the day you eat of it your eyes will be opened and you will be like god knowing good and evil uwo mugore abonye yuko icyo giti gifite ibyo kurya byiza kandi ko ari iki gikundiro kandi ko ari cyo kwifuriza kumenye kumenyesha umuntu ubwenge asoroma kumbuto zacyo arazirya ahaho numugabo wari kumwe nawe arazirya so when the woman saw that the tree was good for was good for food and it was pleasant and to the eyes and the tree desirable to make one wise she took off its fruits and ate so she also gave to her husband with her and he ate amaso yabo bombi arahweza bamenya yuko bamba yubusa badodi biba bibyimitini biremeramo ibicocero then the eyes of both of them were opened and they knew that they were naked and they sold fig trees together and made themselves coverings tujye muri yohana gice cya gatatu murongo wa mbere kugera ku murongo wa karindwi so let's read in john chapter 3 from verse 1 to 7 this is what the word of God says there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus a ruler of the Jews this man came to Jesus by night and said to him Rabbi we know that you are a teacher you are a teacher come from God for no one can do these things that you do unless God is with him Yes aramusubiza ati nukuri nukuri ndakubwira yuko umuntu tabya ubwa kabiri atabasha kubona ubwami bw'Imana Jesus answered and said to him most assuredly I say to you unless one is born again he cannot see the kingdom of God Nikodemo aramusubiza ati mbese umuntu yabasha te kubyarwa kuze yakongera gasubiza agasubira mu nda ya nyina akabyarwa Nikodemo said to him how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Yes, aramusubiza ati, nukuri ndakubwira yuko umuntu utabyawe namazi numwuka 
atabasha kwinjira mu bwami bw'Imana. Jesus answered, "Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God." Ikibyarwa numubi nacyo numubiri, nikibyarwa numwuka nacyo numwuka. That which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. We tangazwa nuko nkubwiye yuko bibakwiriye kubyarwa ubwa kabiri. Do not marvel that I say to you you must be born again. Mana data tuguciriye bugufi tugusaba ngo uzuvugane natwe. Iri jambo tujye kuvuga ni rikuru ni rinini riragutse ariko ni wewe wenyine wadushobora wadushoboza kuryumva kugira ngo tunakore icyo uri kudusaba ndasabye ngo mfashe kuba umwizerwa mu byo washyize ku mutima wa Imana unarenzeho kugira ngo icyo wifuza ko gikoreka mu bwoko bwawe gikoreke muri uyu munsi tuguciriye bugufi tuguhaye rugari mwuka wera ngo uvugane natwe kandi abari gukora muri mwa wawe ubwo tugabura ijambo ryawe byose tubyambaje mu izina rya Yesu amen amen Bereyuko ngaruka kuri iri jambo Before I come back to this passage Ndashaka kuvuga ibintu bibiri There are two things that I want to talk about Turi kuvuga ku bwami bw'Imana We are talking about the kingdom of God Ariko buriya urugero rw'ubwami bw'Imana wakira muri wowe So the example of the kingdom of God that you received in yourself Rungana n'urugero rw'ubwami bw'umwijima witeguye kuvana mu buzima bwawe It is also equal to the level of the kingdom of darkness that we want to take out of your life I repeat this Urugero the level of the kingdom of God that you receive in your life rungana n'urugero rw'ubwami bw'umwijima witeguye kuvana mu buzima bwawe it is equal to the level of the kingdom of darkness that you are ready to take Nabgo out of your wa, life wa tekereza kuzabiguma na byombi so you cannot think that you'll keep both at the Shimne same time chindi. one should give space to the other the one that you allow is going to have an important so part so that's the first thing that you need to keep in your mind as 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 now the second thing i want to talk about is this the start of a journey the way you start a journey it will have a repercussion on that journey until you change something the way you start a journey it will have consequences on that journey unless you change certain things you will not start when you are tired and say you are going to start like someone who has strength you will not start when you are not willing and walk like a person who started when he was willing and committed. So keep those two things as we proceed. Now if we come back to the scriptures that we read. I want to ask three people to come forward to show you an illustration. Please come forward to the scriptures that we read. May God bless you as we come. This, uh, Lambert, who is back again, here have the umbrellas. So, so bear with me for those who know this. So try to understand what God is speaking to you. So, one of these people is going to represent God and his kingdom. Uh-huh. Now the second is going to represent the kingdom of darkness. So we are going to something else to help you. So the so the kingdom of darkness is going to come on this side and the kingdom of God is going to dwell on that side. Now this man is going to represent Adam and Eve. So the word of God says that God created Adam and Eve. So he created them to come and be in his kingdom. And he said I have put here on earth to go and expand my kingdom and represent me 
mutwarisi and rule the muyimenyereze and get used to it muyikorere and serve in it and also protect that on top so at that time Adam was under the covering of God and it is where something is the one who is under the covering of the Lord is under his shelter so here the will of God was done according to his because he had accepted to be under the kingdom of God now this man on this side he said I also have my own kingdom but I have only one child I don't have followers but if they allow me I also rule over the world that God has given to them so he drew closer to the human kind so the Bible says he came to me when they had the conversation with her why am I showing you this? If you are not aware on how you are straight from the kingdom of God, you do not know how to come back to, to get back to it. You may deceive yourself that you, you got back to the kingdom of God, but your mindset is still again uh, based on the kingdom of God. That is why I'm showing you this. So he drew closer to the human kind and he started talking to him. And they said, is it true that God said that you should not eat on all the fruits in this garden? Now, this is what he had done. He took the truth and he mixed it with the lie. And then people were confused. And even today, that is how he's He takes the truth and mixes it with the lie. And then you accept that. And then you accept it in can I give you a few examples? There is a scripture that the devil added in the Bible. Which says that even the Russians sin seven times. Now, uh, even now, Christians can say pastors have a number of times he can say that he can also do this. But this is what the truth of God says. It says we are sinners. But when we repent, God forgives us. And that is why in 1 John chapter 2, say, Young children, do not see. But when you see, remember that we have a, a redeemer. This is not a license to go and see. So if by accident you find yourself in peace, Move quickly. Remember that you have a redeemer and go back. But the devil took that truth. He mixed it with the lie. And he said, actually, it is not even possible to be righteous. There is no way you can be righteous. So I'm not able to do it, but Jesus who is in me is able to enable me to be righteous. So he takes the truth and mixes it with And then we start to be confused. So now the, the woman decided to take her position. She said, now you are having this upside down. Said, this said, God said we are allowed to eat, eat, eat anything except one tree, which is in the middle. And the God said the day you are going to eat on that definitely will die. So now the woman decided to take her position. Now here is the die. Now he's told the humankind. You know, he said, God is deceiving you. God is deceiving you. I'm the one who has God is deceiving you. Isn't it the lie which is out there? He's God is lying to you. I'm the one who knows the truth. On the day you're going to eat it, you're not going to die. <laughs> now, this is the second one. Actually, you're going to be like God. Therefore, you no longer need God. 
Dore ngaha aho ruzingiye mu buzima bwacu. So then now this is the core part of our life. Nibyo tukigendera aho nanu uyu munsi. Those are the lies that you are still following today. Umva icyo ndi kuvuga hanga. So this is what I'm saying here. Niba ushaka kuba mu bwami bw'Imana. If you want to be in the kingdom of God. Reba neza niba icyo kinyoma cha Satani warakivumba. Look carefully whether you have discovered that lie. Niba utarakivumbura. Because if you have not yet discovered it. Know that the devil is a liar. Imana ari umunyakuri. And God is Imana izakomeza ivuge. So God will continue to speak and you'll be on the side of the devil saying no, the God is lying zaafu. and say definitely I'm not going to die actually I'm going to be transformed into God now the big challenge we have is no, this is that we take the devil is the one who is telling us the truth and consider God no, is the the man telling us lies and that is why what God says sometimes we try to use our own logic and ask ourselves is it really right Oh, is it really right? So when God says, this is what I think about sin. And he says, don't I have an argument in my favor? Is there something that can make it take it lightly? Because we think according to the mindset of the devil. So now the second thing. We have come our own gods. So now why, why do we would do we need God? Because I have become like a God. So I know what is good and what is bad. Why should I request from him? Is it only because he's more powerful than me and uh, has more wealth but otherwise? If you had things which are equal to what God has, so we would feel we do not need it. But now, with regard to being God, we think that we are our own God. We think that we are powerful. That is why when God speaks, we don't say yes, sir. <laughs> We don't say yes, sir, but we say let's sit and have a conversation. Yanji. And say, I have my own opinion. I have my way, my, my perspective. I have my way of understanding. Actually, it is even my right. It's my right. Why? We think that we're in the kingdom of God. When actually have not yet sold what took us away from the kingdom of God and take it away and know that the devil is a liar and God has the truth and know that he's the one who created us therefore we are creatures and we are always dependent on him. Now the man and his wife they are on the fruit so in other words they agreed with the devil to so greet, greet each other and say I no longer want to accept all the other things actually what God has I said I can take it lightly but I'm going to agree with all the other things now because of that now because we have rejected God and things concerning him we found ourselves in another kingdom which is the kingdom of darkness which is the kingdom of the devil and you see how it is so you can see how this umbrella is torn. it has gaps there's nothing he can give to you beyond what he has there's nothing he can give to you beyond what he has May God help us and do good to us. But God in his life I cannot leave the situation as it is. Now the human kind of life I want to bring him back so that he can come back to my kingdom. So that he can come back to my kingdom. Now Jesus came he came here on earth so we read with how he encountered with Nicodemus when he was here on earth he was doing great miracles he teach and perform marvelous things so now one day the Kodemus came to him and he said we know where you came from we know that you are a great teacher who comes from there is no one who can perform and say anything unless he comes from God so when he said Nicodemus there is something 
something else that you need beyond knowing from God. He said you need to be born again. You need to be born again. In other words, we are still alive when it is. Now you are dead because you are accepted to do sin. So now I have come so that so that your life can be is not improved. So that your life is not improved. But so that you can get a new life. You did not understand this part. I want to repeat. Yesu kuba yari se ngo kugira ngo tugaruke mu bwami so Jesus said for us to go back to the kingdom akabyita ngo akidukeneye kuvuka ubwa kabiri and then he said we need to be born again nuko yarabizi kwicaje gukora it's because he knew that what he had come to do ntabwo ari kugira ubuzima bwacu bwiza kurusha it's not to improve our life kubera ko nubundi twari tupfuye because we are doomed to ziza ibyaha n'ibicumuro byacu because of our sins and our transgressions ariko imana kuko ari umutunzi w'imbabazi now because god is god of mercy we were made alive together with Christ. So what brought Jesus? It's not to improve your life. But it's to give you a new life. It's to, to start a new life. So you cannot be in the kingdom. When what you did is just to improve your life. You cannot be in the kingdom of God when what you did was just to improve your life. Just to make it better. Oh yeah. No. You need a new life. You need a new life. That is why you are supposed to be born again. That is why you are supposed to be born again. So if you are not born again, you know a person is a great uh, strategist. Uh, there is a, a person called John Bunyan who wrote uh, a book called The Pilgrim. So he talked about a person uh, who saw the Christian going to heaven. So he reached when he reached where he had reached, he climbed the wall and also moved with him. As he was walking with the Christian, and then the Christian would say, Where are you going? And he say, I'm going to heaven, but don't ask me where I'm coming. From. And he asked him, The gate, did you start from where others started from? I said, go away. What do you want? Because we are all of us on the same journey. journey. What is the issue? And that is the core part of it. That is the essence of it. Now, this is what I'm saying in all these words. The way you started this Christian journey, it has consequences on your Christianity today. So let me also put it in this in ordinary way. So the Bible it, it is to be born again. Parents who are here are able to understand this. Way. When my daughter was born, I was there. It is not something easy to be born. To be born, it is something something really difficult. Uh, doctors come, and the midwives are also ready. And they're saying we don't want to be born correctly. so that they can and have a consequence on all the entire life. So now, when they are not careful, when the midwives are not careful, and then the child is born in the wrong way, it has an implication on, on the entire life. I have a, a family who are close to me, where the doctor became like nowadays preachers, and he said, I have, have so many amazed. women to deliver. To the point he realized that it was not able to, to have, for the child to be born in the normal way because the, because the mother was also tired and could not push anymore. So he had to undertake a surgery and even to grab the child anyhow. So it affected the brain of the baby. So today the, 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 the child is a teenager. 
cannot stand and they cannot speak are at the mercy of anybody who can just there at the mercy of anybody why because the way, the way he was born in the wrong way so now this is what i'm saying people of God who do preach sometimes uh, people of God who preach here because we, we, this was explained to us if we take it, why, why don't we be good midwives because if we enable someone to to, to be born in the wrong way the, that person can come and spend years when he cannot sit when he cannot feed himself when he cannot stand by himself when he's just there to be spoon fed just because of the way the delivery was made may God help us and do good to us Please listen. There are four ways a person is born again. I'm saying this based on what I see in the Bible. And also check whether you were born again the same way. Uh, some of them are talking about them quickly. Some of the scriptures will not be able to read them. But you can write them down somewhere. How do we move from the kingdom of the devil? And come into the kingdom of God and ensure that everything that we we don't hear, we to and now we are ready to receive everything <inaudible> from God. remember what I said earlier the level of the kingdom of God that you receive it is equal to the level of the kingdom of darkness that are able to release. So when we preach to you and do not have you to release you hold fast on many things. Now when you get there, it is difficult for us to tell you why don't you release all those things. And then he turn to us and say, Now, what are you talking about? Why don't you know that salvation which you saw, uh, are updated? You should know what is uh, Now those things of yours of exaggeration. The most important is to be saved. Now why are you adding all those other things? Uh, even in the home cell I belong to it. And I have also went through the membership class even the maturity class. Now, what else do you expect from me? But now please listen to these four things. So I'll talk about them quickly and then we'll come back to the first one before we conclude. Now the first thing, it is called repentance. 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 Allow me also to emphasize on this. It is the first step to enter into the kingdom of God. And they are going to emphasize on this. But allow me to skip to the second one. The second thing which is required is faith and believing. Faith. Faith. So the word of God tells us in Romans chapter 10 verse 9 that if you believe in your heart now you confess the same things that have believed in heart you will be saved. He will be saved. So what do you believe in? Do you, be, you believe in the truth of the word of God? That what it talks about Jesus Christ is the truth. And then you believe in Christ. And, and you believe that what he said he can do, he's able to do it. If he says he can help you to overcome it, you believe that you are, he's the one you need to ask to help you if he says he can give you eternal life and then you believe that 
So that will be an, a, a teaching that, separate. Now the third thing chenei, that you need is to be baptized in water. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So those I'm stoning, please bear uh, with me. I'm going to say what I see in the Bible. So now in John chapter 3 that we read, if you read on verse 6, on verse 5 rather, Jesus said, Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Now, Matthew 28, uh, Jesus had said he had been received all authority in heaven, on earth. Now he sent people to go and change. to go and change people of all nations and make them disciples. But he added something very important. And he said, Those who are going to believe, those who are going to believe, you are going to baptize them in, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, many people will joke with baptism. We think it's something that we can do 30 years after our salvation. But see how difficult it Go and read in Acts. There is no one who was preaching. And then wait for three months when they were being baptized. So they knew that once you are saved, immediately you should be baptized. And there are many reasons why to dip that person in water. Let me mention a few. Though that can be a separate teaching. So the word of God says, in the Old Testament, before a priest was anointed, they would wash him the entire body. Not just wiping his face or even fingers, but his entire body. Now, when I come in the New Testament, and then I look in the first two, two, two chapter nine but you are a royal priest. So what does it mean? How are you going to be anointed uh, before you, you, you take shower? This is what baptism means. You need to take shower first before you are anointed. As we are going to mention this on the third point. Are we still together, brother? Something else I want to mention about baptism. Actually, it is a funeral. Because we are going to bury someone. But the difference with going to the graveyard. We bring someone who is similar like the one who was buried, but with the When you are dipped in water. It's the thing, the old man. <laughs> the kingdom of darkness. I accept to bury it. Secondly, I accept to die with Christ. And to arise with him. And I'm ready to receive the kingdom of God entirely. Uh, my fear is that you're going to be like everyone else. If you are not careful about baptism, why do we baptize people? Uh, I was baptized twice and uh, in, through immersion. <laughs> Initially, I was dipped into water was, uh, when I was a sinner and I did not have any testimony. So I came out of the water and I was exactly the same person who was dipped in it. The difference was only one. 
nari umunyabyaha i was a sinner ariko noneho mvamo ndu munyabyaha utose now i was a sinner who was wet iyo niyo yari difference gusa that was the only difference ntabwo nzibagirwa ko umunsi ari wo munsi nshobora kuba narasinze mu buzima bwanje kurusha indi minsi yose i will never forget that i think probably is the day i got drunk than the other days kuberako navugaga ngo nakatishije iti kijya mu ijuru because i was thinking that now i have the ticket to the wange because my baptism ntabwo wa mbere ntabwo wari ukujya gushyingura umuntu wa kera the initial one was not to go and bury the old man ntabwo gushyingura ibyo ubwami bwa satani was not to go and bury the, the kingdom of darkness ahubwo kwari gukatisha iti ke nkuko bari barabimbe actually it was just getting a ticket as i was deceived Mani May God help us. Now, after our, oh, around eight years, I went back to the same pastors that baptized me. And I told them, I deceived you and you also deceived me. I, I deceived you that you baptized a Christian when actually you had baptized Now, can you accept to baptize me because now I want to bury the old man? So you are clapping hands, you don't know what I went through. They said, that does not happen, you need to actually to forget that. Said we are the ones who baptize you. How can we again dip you in water? Said, please, please, I was not testifying anything. Jesus and I were on two extremes. Uh, to the point where the, the Bible says the kingdom of God belongs to those who are violent. It was actually by force. That I and they said you are going to do it. You have to baptize me. When they accepted. I went to the same place where I was baptized. Because there are people who assume that I was baptized. But when actually I was not baptized. Because I was not testifying anything. So I was baptized once again. And, and I, was, I saw a change in my life. Because I had testified in the spiritual realm. The old Lambert is, is buried now. There is another one who is risen in Christ. To receive the kingdom of God according to his will. Now this is the third thing. Now the fourth one. Is to receive the Holy Spirit. <laughs> May God have mercy on us, the preachers. How can we deceive people that they are coming in the kingdom of God? And live in it when they do not have the Holy Spirit. It is a tragedy. When you read uh, in the Acts of Apostles. And you read chapter 8. The word of God says. Uh, when Philip had preached to the people from Samaria. Uh, now the apostles in Jerusalem when they go to know it, So they sent John and uh, Peter. To go and pray for them. So that they are filled with the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit had not come to anyone among them. Another time, Paul reached a place called Ephesus and he found disciples there. I think actually he looked at how they were, you know, though he was filled with the Holy Spirit, I think there's something unusual that he saw. He would look at them in their lives and he realized there was something that was lacking. And he realized that these people, there is something that we're lacking. And then he came closer to them and said, Please tell me. Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believe? Now, see the question that is asked. He did not deny that he believed. But he's asking them, this, another person that you need, who is the Holy Spirit? Did you receive the Holy Spirit? They cannot bring nowadays 
these things if I ask the same question here you will see the type of answers that will receive a person will say when I receive Christ he came with the Holy Spirit and other answers that I may receive I don't know about that what I know I'm a Christian other types of answers that I may receive I prayed several times to speak in tongues so I said this does not belong to me it belongs to who say that they speak in tongues now these other people humble themselves and they said if you are honest with you if you are honest with you we don't even know that the Holy Spirit has come and they said which type of baptism they said the one of God the one that joined the baptism the one that joined the baptism I say now you are still at the initial stage you have not yet reached the so he explained to them things concerning the Holy Spirit now this is the thing that I mentioned do you know that actually the same people were baptized they were baptized in water in the name of Jesus and then he laid his hands on them and then what happened they were filled with the Holy Spirit and they started speaking in new tongues according to how the Holy Spirit enabled them to now this is the question in all these things that I have mentioned <laughs> each church or person they have their own preferences that those who emphasize on repentance and they ignore faith do you know what that brings my salvation is myself I'm saved on my own God has this. it is by my strength it's by faith alone and others fall in a trap to say it is by faith alone Say, I believe so should not bring other things and and I see, a person believes that his sins were forgiven when actually did not even confess you are a Christian because you are told what you need is just faith you believe that even your sins were forgiven just because you are forgiven when you did not even repent Please listen to me. To know that you are a sinner is one thing. But to repent is another thing. If you have not yet repented, sins are still there. This is what I see in the Bible. I may be wrong. But this is what I see in the Bible. The one who repents and believes and be baptized and be filled with the Holy Spirit. That one. Is the one who be saved. He said, he told me that I'm a, he told me that I'm a sinner. And then I did I jump oh, yeah. in the belief? First of all, I will be saved. Then I believed so that I could be saved. Now, when it reached to baptism to become a new some are baptized. Others think that only baptism will enable them to be given to heaven. Because baptism without faith, without repentance, <laughs> They just want to dip a person in water. And they ask the person, how come to a Christian? And they say, I was baptized and my name is John or my name is Peter. So when you are saved, don't ask me about salvation. What I know, I was, I was baptized. <laughs> No wonder in the kingdom of God has a mixture of so many things. Now here's another thing. Others have overemphasized the, the Holy Spirit. You see a person speaking in tongues. So if you do not speak in tongues, if you do not have the gifts of God, sometimes we even boil to show that we have the Lord. And, but when we, do not repent, when we don't even believe, don't even ask us about baptism, so now you realize that you have faced a challenge. So the one I'm going to offend, please bear with me. Do you know that the Bible does not request us to enable people to receive Christ? 
muziko bibiri itatubwira ngo tuzabwira abantu bafata icemezo kubwa Kristo the bible does not tell us to tell people to take a decision for Christ this is how many of us were saved. So repeat this prayer. Lord Jesus. I accept that I'm a sinner. I accept that I'm a sinner. I repent from my sins. I repent from my sins. Forgive me. Forgive me. Amen. Amen. And now I'm saved. Now you have become born again. <laughs> I say it, the same way you were born, it will have consequences on how you are going to move in the church. So please listen to what God is telling us. We may feel that we are saved and have reached the kingdom of God. But how did we reach there? How did we get there? We no longer share testimonies to know how What happened to find yourself in the church? You realize that? They told you just come and then you came. When they called upon those who want to be saved, you saw that. no one told you about repentance. No one told you about faith. No one told you about baptism. And no one told you about receiving the Holy Spirit. And that is why we have a confession. In the, in, the, in the house of God. Because there are many things concerning the kingdom of darkness that you are holding on, that you are sitting on. And when God, when he looks for a place to pour things concerning his kingdom, he is not able to find space. Because we are filled with so many things of the devil. So let's thank uh, these people so that they can take back their seats. May God bless you. So let me come back to the first thing which is repentance. It's an illustration of the sum of the things that we may have done. Now this is what the word of God says in Acts. 17 from verse 30 to 31. 31. 31. Ijambo ryimana ravuga ngo nuko Ariko noneho itegeka abantu bamwe na bamwe shwi bose bari hose kugira gute kwihana. Kuko yashize umunsi wo gucira aho rubanza rw'ukuri rw'abari mwisi bose izaruchisha umuntu yatoranije kandi ibyo yabihamirije abantu bose ubwo yamuzuye truly these times of ignorance god overlooked but now commands all men everywhere to repent because he has appointed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by the man who he has ordained he has given assurance of this by all by raising him from the dead so so what are we talking about here? Repentance is the first step of being born again. So the worship team sang for us saying, Mazendihana. That I'm a sinner and then I repented and believed and he saved me. So this is the first step. Now as I say, many people stopped at the point of saying, oh Lord, I accept that I'm a, a, a sinner and they thought that I was enough. They think that the fact that you have told God that you are a, a, a sinner is enough. So what does it mean to repent? Because it goes beyond to say I am a sinner. So now repentance touches three things. 
kwihana bihera mu bitekerezo first of all repentance starts from your thoughts nico cyatumye abaroma igice cya 12 umurongo wa kabiri havuga ngo mwemerere imana ivugurura imitekerereze yanyu and that is why in romans the word of god says us we should allow god to renew our minds kuriwe ugatekereza ku imana ariyo you need to think of who you are and who God is. Because repentance is just you know, it's only knowing that you have done something wrong. Or say I'm sad because of the things that I did. It is regretting what you did. Or it does not even say um, I feel guilty because of the things that I did for others. That's not what it means. Because that's feeling guilty because of another person no And this is different from repentance. So repentance requires you first of all to focus on the Holy God. Let me come back to the last one. First you need to look at the Holy God. Remember that he's your creator. And you realize that the trespass is Now you brought his wrath upon you. And you have even neglected his love. And no, it is he's the only God. God who can have mercy on you. So it is between us and God. But we have made it something concerning us and our fellows. Say this is how I did it. And so for some repentance is because of as if they were not known before God. But if you look first on what God is and and his holiness uh, your repentance will be easy repentance will be easy before I was saved Actually, I received Jesus so many times in my heart. I will repeat the same prayer in my heart and say I'm a sinner. Then when I go back home, I, when I look at even other people who are just standing <laughs> in my, my sight, and then I'll say, actually, I'm more rushes than them. I think all those things are just lies. Why? Because I took an example <laughs> where I'm, not post- I'm just looking at others. I look, for example, <laughs> at the <members laughs> and say, yeah, now you see, you came <laughs> <have> to, to <laughs> prepare the bride. She just put. Because you are looking at the wrong side. You are Look upon God. When the day Isaiah received the revelation from God, when he saw God in his holiness, he said, I'm doomed because I'm a And I dwell even among people who are also sinners. Because he got to know that he's a sinner. So when they one day when Jesus was standing at Peter the seashore, uh, now Peter had been walking with him for some time. So he had talked to him uh, and he was helping him to fish. And then he came and said, You the son of God. So please move away from here. Why? Because I am a sinner. Even though we may hate. Peter. He reached a point and said, I'm a sinner because when he looked at Jesus, he say, I'm not worthy to stand. But you compare yourself to your neighbor in the church. You compare yourself to the pastor. Uh, Omega compares himself with the Catholic. I'm also comparing myself with another person. But I wish that we can look at God and see his holiness. Now we'll be like the tax collector who even continues to bow and continue to say, oh Lord, oh Lord, have mercy, have mercy, because I am a sinner.
bavandimwe brethren kwihana bisaba ko tubitekereza repentance requires you to think about it conviction y'umutima we should be convinced in bisaba ko wemera kuri umunyabya and you need to accept that you are a sinner niyo mpamvu hagara rahanga ukavuga uti burero ni hanyi inzoga ni hanyi ibikini that is all you can send here and say i'm repenting from conviction and then you go back because you do not have conviction ariko yewe amaze kugira conviction but once you have conviction akakwemeza kuri umunyabya once you are convinced that kwihana mu bitekerezo repenting nahinduciye mu mutima so it means i have turned back in my heart ntabwo ndongera gusubira hahana i will not go back to the same place nabonye kwera kw'imana because i have seen the holiness ariko dufata urugero rubi but we take the wrong example cyakabiri bisaba the second thing that i kwihana nabyo bisaba kubivuga mu magambo you need to confess it to speak ariko bibiri ayita ngo nuko byatura so you need to confess it according to the biblical language bishire rero twatura mu mutima many people we confess in our own heart aruko nabarokore kuri aturabana beza is a way we who are saved twebwe ibintu byose tubishyira mu mwuka everything we make it spiritual abantu bihana mu mwuka people the repent spiritually abantu bapfuka bapfuka misha mavi y'umutima they also kneel with their knees in the spirit abantu ibyaha dukora ba mu rusengero imana ijye bitubabare may god forgive us the sins we commit in the church kwa naremye ko numuntu ishobora kwatura ibyaha bye mu mutima to the point that a person can even confess his sins in the heart kandi bibiri yivuga ngo umuntu yatuzikise but the bible says you confess with your mouth ijambo ry'imana ratubwira muri yohana wa mbere gice cy'a mbere murongo wa 9 the bible says in first john chapter 1 iyo banje aho banza ku murongo wa 8 when you see the previous aravuga ngo ni tuvuga ko tudafite ibya that if you say that do not kwishuka actually we are deceiving ourselves ngo ndetse tuba twisa imana inyabinyoma and we are even calling god a liar ariko akagera hana kavuga ngo ariko ni twaturi ibya habya if we confess our sins kubyatura rero so now confess our sins it is just kubitekereza ukavuga ngo ariko hari anarahemutse nange or even just thinking about it and say i did something wrong there no kubyita imana izina imana ibyita you need to give it a name according to what the bible says njawe isobanura ngo utangire ari ukuntu dusigaye twihana no mu ruheburayo there is a way we we repent in the wrong way imana imbabarira icyaha kinyongobeza bugingo Uh, may God forgive me from the the sin that withers my spiritual life. Imani mbabarire gutekereza nkagera kuri. May God forgive me from thinking far. Kibaza ni kilometero zingahe. So you ask yourself how many kilometers? Imani mbabaze mbabarire gutekereza ku bantu. May God forgive me because of thinking about people. Abantu watekereza ku kikindi. What what else can you think about? Imani mbabarire cyaha kintegenye. May God forgive me from being weak. Nuyu munsi nabuze unsobanura ruko bakora cyaha kintegenye. Even up to they have not yet received a clear explanation of how you can see by just tuzikubatiza ibyaha because we know how to name sins. Icyaha cyose tudashaka kwihana. Every sin that we do not want to repent of. Tukashaka icyo acceptable muri societe. We look for what is acceptable in the society. And that's what we come face may god forgive me because of being weak how do you commit such a sin uh, one, when one person uh, he repented of for uh, moving quickly speeding up the, the chariot of the of his brothers or her brothers hanyuma amara imyaka ibiri akihana mu rusenge so he kept on repeating the same sin for two years akabura numwe umubaza utari ku cyo cyawe gikora gute and no one would ask him how do you commit such a sin ngo umunsi umwe hagize utinyuka kumubaza so when one person dared to ask arababwira ngo ariko muzi uko mbigenze they said do you know how i do ndaba roga i bewitch them and they die bityo rero nkaba nihutishije igare ryabo so actually i have kuko numye batahi gice cyo gutaha cyabo kitaragera because they die when they are tired harya gare rya twaye riya like the same chariot haryongereramo speed so i increase the speed of the chariot bavandi brethren niba dushaka kwatuza akanwa kacu if you want to confess with our own mouth let's say name it according to what the bible says and do it uh, there is a type of christianity that i long for uh, of repentance brokore udatinya kuvuga ngo baranseka where you are not afraid to say people are going to laugh at you ahubwo ntugire izindi so nusibye izibya habya actually you have no other shame apart from the shame of your sins 
Now you are part of the home cell that are also belong. Who have you had repenting recently in the home cell? Maybe there are times that do not attend the home cell. How many people have we had recently repent? So are we all saints? To the point that we no longer sin. For the kingdom of God to come in it will be difficult if you are keeping secrets from, from, from the if there is something that you have not yet confessed. <laughs> when you want to raise your hands, you remember all the things that you are covering and then you change the position because you are remembering. You know, the devil is wicked. Do you know when you are going to sin? Uh, he encourages you. Please, please do it. There's nothing that is going to happen. To you. And then he goes aside. Now you have done it. And you are born again. So now they are going to look at you. That's why the Bible calls him the accuser of the brethren. But once you have confessed the same sin, you stand when you remember it. And as I say, Lord, I thank you. For because when he sees his blood upon me, he does not judge me because of the blood of Jesus but it does not happen by accident he does it because of what you have confessed because of the things you have repented of may God help us and do good to us now the third thing uh, concerning repentance it is also in deeds and, or, or action so you need to put it in action. So when John was saying, requesting people to repent because the kingdom of God was at hand, he said, please go and bear fruits worthy of those who are righteous. Now to tell me that you repented, when it is not visible in your actions, actually you did not repent. Maybe you regret it just because people go to or maybe you realize that you have done something wrong, but true repentance it requires to put it into practice there is a man called Zacchaeus so he invited Jesus at home so and he had now when he looked at Jesus and he saw his holiness Jesus did not stand to read his scriptures now as they were just eating together now when he looked at him and he saw his heart and he said, now, can I continue to be like this? When this person who is holding is close to me and he stood and said, half of what I have, I'm giving them to the world. Now, people like this part. Because they think the, the offerings and that's it. And they think that even the tax is included, that's it. And it's, I would say, I've helped the poor. Now he said that that is part of robbery. Now anyone else that I robbed, I'm going to pay back. But in on top of that, fourfold. That is salvation. That's true repentance. When you repentance, I, I offended people and I know. And I'm going to pay back and put things in order. Can I confess my sins? Uh, before I was saved, there's a time I decided to take the school fee and use the same money to drink alcohol. There's one time I did not pay the tuition fee. And then I got saved. And then when I would read the scriptures of rest that I'm a sinner and I really need to go back and 
so to move from my home and the, the school uh, so on the first day I want to see the one who's in charge of finance uh, so when I reach at the, the, the door of his office now the devil whispered to me and said where are you going you know you're just foolish and and said, say, instead of that so I moved again three hours going back home. Now the same spirit that I took it out of me. Another day I came back again. Now that person saw me and I said I just wanted to say hi and I, I continued. Now when I went back home I felt like dying. I said, I'm going to go back. Whatever is going to happen, this will happen. But I'm going to confess my sin. So when I reached there, I realized he was in the office. So I found him somewhere else in that place. He told me, what's going on? I said, I want to ask for forgiveness. Actually, I had graduated from that school. I had my diploma. I had all the reports. There is nothing that belongs to me. But there is a lot that I had kept for them. He said, what are you repenting of? And said, when I was still uh, studying here, there is one term that I did not pay because I took a special fee to drink alcohol. So I said, I'm coming to ask for forgiveness. And I said, I don't even have money, but allow me that as I work, I'll be paying. Now, he spent like one minute hanging there. He did not tell me something. Look at me. And said, now please listen. The fact that you have dared to come back. That uh, alone is making me forgive you. Now the second thing. Actually, the, 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 the debt was counted on me. Actually, when he was audited, the money missing. Said. I said, I also release you from that debt. You should not pay that amount of money. Now, when I go there, I stand oh, my pastor. Now, that man is a pastor. And he can even invite no, me to come and preach in the church. Even though he knows that long time ago, he used to steal. Now, try to imagine if I decided to cover up. Now, I was standing before the members of the church, and when I look at him, and I said, I offended you indeed. <laughs> So which message can I preach? Now what I'm saying, brethren, did we we repent in our thoughts? Did we speak out as we confessed? Did we also repent in deeds? Because if you not do it that way, we are deceiving ourselves. When that is the first step to enter into the kingdom of God, to repent. And when we, re- we reach into the kingdom of God, we need to keep on repenting and asking for forgiveness. In James uh, chapter 5, says, Confess your sins to one another so that you can be saved. So we need to keep on repenting and confessing our sins. So let's wind up here asking ourselves these questions. Were you born again? So now, the things that we said, is there something that you do not do according to the way it is supposed to be done? It is not shameful to go back and say, Lord, there's something that they didn't do and I'm going to do it. Did we repent? Did we truly repent? Being in words, being in thoughts, or even in action. 
Imana idufashe May God help us kandi Imana itugire neza And do good to us so I want to give you time to think about everything that you had talked about. Sabe niba hari cyo wifuza kubwira Imana yawe uhaguruke If there is something you want to tell God so please stand up Wibwire mu magambo yawe And speak in your own words Ntabwo ndi bukuyobore mu isengesho I'm not going to lead you in prayer Ariko ndagira ngo nguhe umwanya ugire cyo wibwire Imana But I want to give you time so that you can say something to God Ni kimana ivuganye nawe What was God spoken to you Ese ni iki nawe wayibwira mu gihe ngiki ngiki And what can you Say back at such time as this. If there's something you need to ask from him, please do. He desires that you be in his kingdom when you have surrendered all to him. He desires that you be in his kingdom when you are ready to receive any, everything concerning the kingdom. So speak in your own words. Vaye sani mesa Everything which is in our life that we do not do not want. To his shoulder. Reveal to us Lord. Holy Spirit. Please come and reveal to us. And what you're going to reveal. Help us to take it away from our lives.